Hey guys, Eric Zander here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the new version of Android uh, 5.0 Lollipop on your PC. This is very easy, as long as you follow along and do what I do, uh, you should have no problem. So let's just jump right into it. So first, I'm going to give you this link in the description. Uh, it's to download the Android SDK. Uh, so just click right here, and then if you want, you can read the terms and conditions or just accept it. Um, if you have a 64-bit PC, you're going to click this box and if you have a 32-bit you're gonna click this I have a 64 so I'm gonna click right here uh, if you don't know what you have I'm gonna put a little written guide in the description to tell you how to do that um, but yeah I have a 64-bit so I'm just gonna download it right here and it looks like it'll take me a little bit of time so I'll skip the video oh and also make sure that you have the latest version of Java installed okay so when that's done drag it to your desktop and you have to use a program like WinRAR or 7-zip or some way to extract it by right clicking and pressing extract here and it'll extract all the files into this folder uh, it'll take a little bit of time and I'll skip the video okay so when that's done open up the folder and click the .exe file and press run okay and then this will come up and uh, right now it's fetching um, all this stuff from this website right here it'll take a little bit of time for the screen bar to get all the way to the end so I'll skip again okay so when that's done make sure that these two boxes are checked the one that says Android SDK tools and Android SDK platform tools and scroll down and make sure that this box that says Android 5.0 is checked and that everything else below it's checked right here all the way up to sources for Android SDK uh, if, and if you were to do a different uh, a different version that's not 5.0 you can select that instead see they have all these versions uh, for extras I recommend that you just select them all just click that and then it'll give you all of this stuff or you can pick and choose what you want so when you're ready press install 25 packages or so and then it's gonna want you to accept the license by clicking here you can read it if you want if you scroll down a little bit there's gonna be a second license that it's gonna want you to accept right here so if you click that and then once all of these are checked green you should be good to go press install and it could take a little bit of time depending on how fast your internet connection is see mine will take about four minutes so uh, I will skip the video again so that actually took a little longer than I expected. It took me about an hour to do and it might take you more or less depending on how fast your internet is. But anyway, once you're done, go to Tools, Manage AVDs, and then press Create. And you can name it whatever you want. Since we're using Lollipop, I'll just name it Lollipop like that. Uh, for device, pick whatever device you want. I'm just going to do the Nexus 5. Target, uh, make sure that you do Android 5.0 right there. Um, now, if you have a uh, Intel processor, you're going to want to click this. And if you have a um, AMD, you're going to want to click this one, the ARM. I have an AMD processor on my computer, and you can tell because there will probably be a sticker on your computer, or there will be other ways to tell. Uh, so I'm just going to click this, and if you have Intel, you're going to click the one below it. Skin, just press no skin. Uh, this, you could all leave the same. Um, this is the minimum. Of, of a RAM that you can put into it is to uh, 2048 um, megabytes I'm just gonna leave it like that you can add more or less it's up to you and then for storage just pick something like at least 2000 I'm just gonna also make that 2048 just like that and then press OK okay and then this will come up in a couple seconds afterwards and you can just press OK alright so now when you're ready click right here uh, on the uh, actual thing and then press start and then you can just leave the settings the same right now and press launch and then it'll start the emulator up just wait for the green bar to get all the way to the top and let's see what happens and then after a little bit of time this window should come up it might be a black screen for a little bit but then this Android logo will come up and then it'll take a while to load for the first time. And if it doesn't load for you, you should uh, mess with the settings however you want. Um, but yeah, once it loads up, you can use it like a regular Android phone. Uh, if it's slow for you, you might want to uh, you know adjust the settings or do whatever. But yeah, this is all that you have to do. So if I helped you out, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.